this is the difficult time to battle at home against viruses and boredom. I saw people build many variants of contact-free hand wash dispensers. Few did with ultrasonic sensors, few did with IR sensors, and few did without even microcontrollers. To make this more interesting and more challenging, I wanted to make a much better version of this, like easily swappable bottles, less messy installation, maybe voice assistance. Your hands look very gross. Wash your hands right now, you're filthy. B- Why not? Let's just over-engineer everything. And maybe we can use this knowledge in some other projects. So without any further delay, let's get started. Anyway, let's start with building the case. It would have been much easier with a 3D printer, but it's much much faster with plywood. I just quickly mark the measurement on the plywood with ultimate position and cut them with the axaw and use some laser cutter to make more precise cuts. And unlike last time using a bunch of screws and clamps and make the whole thing a mess, I built this box with the help of small tiny nails which worked perfectly, at least sort of. Then I built this mover with some clamps and wood. And to finish the mechanical part, I modified a servo horn which can hold the mover in place when moving up and down. Finally a paint job, so it doesn't look like it is made out of trash. Since the whole country is in lockdown, for electronics I have to salvage parts from other old and unfinished projects. First we need the microcontroller to control the servo and sensor to trigger the microcontroller. The option I was left with Arduino Pro Mini and a PIR sensor. And then to play the audio we will be using DF player which we used in a previous video. And a real time clock to remind the users every now and then to wash their hand. Since I am such a genius, I blew up the circuit once and then destroyed the PIR sensor, voltage regulator, speaker and finally the adapter. So I have to replace the PIR sensor with an IR sensor. So to start, I am not going to go in depth about the DF player since we discussed the topic in the previous video. If you want to refer to that, I will drop a link in the description. For now, first we will stick on to the RTC module. The RTC module has a battery which keeps track of time even when the main power is disconnected to the circuit. To set up the RTC, connect the SDA SCL pin of the RTC module to A4 and A5 of the Arduino. Then connect the power supply to VCC and ground. When it's a brand new module, you have to set the time initially. Just download the DS1307 library from the library manager. Open the set time example. This example will set the DS1307 RTC module to your system time. Hit compile and upload the code. Once this is done, you can read the date and time by using the read time example. The circuit is fairly simple because we are using the pre-built modules. So connect the RTC to I2C bus of the Arduino Pro Mini and connect the TX and RX pin of the DF player to pin 8 and pin 9 of the Arduino. And for the servo and the IR sensor to connect, we have some header pins. Then one LED for power and one LED to indicate the servo is moving. You can see a few components have magically changed. These are the result due to the faulty adapters and because of what I blew up. So I replaced the regulator with a buck converter since I was lacking a 6 volt 2 amp adapter. And then to stabilize the inrush of current, I used a 470 UF capacitor near the servo, VCC and ground. And that's it. You're pretty much done with the circuit. Now it's time for programming. The working is way simple than what you think. The sensor triggers an interrupt and changes a single variable. Then this single variable is compared in the main loop and the servo is moved along with the proper audio track that is played by the DF player. For the DF player, we are using the same code from the previous video to pause play and to select track. Then finally, the RTC square output is set to 1Hz and connected to another interrupt to increment the counter. When this counter reaches the time delay we set, the reminder triggers and notify the user with a proper audio track. And that's it for the code. 
just hit compile and run the code. Then place the circuit on back of the case and screw them together. And you are done with the over engineered, over complicated hand wash dispenser. Dispensing now. Place your hand in the right position. Thanks for washing your hand. I will remind you to wash your hand after a while. Let's see if you guys can come up with something that I can build for COVID-19. And if you have any questions or ideas, just comment below. And to keep up to date with the channel, hit the subscribe button and allow notification. And if you think any of your friends might enjoy this content, don't hesitate to share this video. To keep up with the upcoming project, you can follow me on Instagram and you can check out my blog for written version of the videos I make. You can watch the other exciting videos from the link on the screen.